This video is sponsored by Skillshare. So, I've been uploading videos on this channel for about four years now, and throughout all those videos I've made, I've came up with a kind of a process I follow every time, the way I plan, the way I film, and the way I edit. So because of these countless amount of comments I get asking me how do I make my videos, I'm finally making a video about how I make my videos. Alright, so this is probably like one of my hardest videos I ever made because I've tried to film this video like three times, the audio wasn't working, peepers in my house, talking, all of the stuff, it was just not a good experience. But I'm finally here today and hopefully everything is working well. Now as I said before, there's three processes I follow, the planning process, the filming process, and then the editing. Now planning, everything just comes to me randomly. Sometimes my best ideas comes when I'm taking a shower or just lying down in the bed just thinking and then I'll try to just type it on my notes or I use one notes I just write up all my ideas and I also have a blackboard or a whiteboard around the back right there where I just jot down all my ideas or I just follow trends. So once I've planned all my ideas and I think I found a video topic then I start to script and when I script I just use like headings so for example for this video I'm breaking it up to three different topics we'll talk about my camera gear my lighting my mic and then I'll just show you guys the background of what's going on behind the scenes so those are what I call topics now those topics are going to be in this video and also I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video but we'll touch on that later on okay so for my camera setup guys I'm using the Sony a6400 and let me just go on to my vlog style camera right here to show you guys what I'm working with and boom this is my camera setup right here I'm still learning I'm not very professional but yeah this is what I have this is my Sony camera it's mounted onto this lens right here because I use glasses so I can't really see the camera from that far but like far from me I'm using this feel world viewfinder is 4k it looks really nice and also got a hdmi converter right here to connect it to the camera and also i'm using the sigma 30 millimeter lens and it gives it this nice i wouldn't say cinematic but it's more focused on my face i usually have this wide angle lens which is from sigma as well it was a 16 millimeter and it looks something like this so yeah, this is the 16mm f1.4 from Sigma, it's a fixed lens and this is the wide view. Now this is the view we get and you might be wondering, Siobhan, why would you need this such of a wide lens? And this is perfect because my room is kind of small, so for example when I'm doing top down shots or if the subject is too close, I would need to switch out to this lens and it's also perfect for vlogging. But whenever I need it to like get into detail with shots like show some nice b-roll of the keyboard, show some nice b-roll of a phone or any object that I'm talking about then this 30 millimeter would come in handy and this 30 millimeter is also very good for portraits. Okay, when I first purchased the Sigma 16 millimeter lens I had no issues with it. I normally just get closer to the lens like this but something I didn't know is that this lens kind of distorts my face so it was just not like a more realistic IRL in person view and I didn't know that because I didn't know much about gear so yeah let's just jump back onto the 30 millimeter lens to give it more of a professional look alright so it might be confusing understanding what camera to buy what lenses to use when to use the lenses what mic to purchase if you guys didn't know I have a mic standing right here how to position your mic finding all the different types of gear and just basically when to use them I know it's kind of challenging and that's why I've teamed up with Skillshare to sponsor today's video so if you guys didn't know Skillshare is an online learning community where they have tutorials like this but in way more depth and it gives like a better understanding than this this short 12 10 minute video Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people now they include topics like illustration design photography video video editing like this freelancing and more they even have really good long walkthroughs on Adobe Premiere Pro which will really teach you how to edit like me or even way better because 
I kind of suck. <laughs> the good thing is they also have tutorials broken down into different topics and chapters. So you could basically skip to the one that you need. For example, if you're learning about different lenses, you could just skip to the part that teaches you how to use a specific lens. And that just saves a lot of time. So the class I've been taking personally on Skillshare is from Christopher Rhodes. You guys might know him as YC Imaging on YouTube, but I love his class because he shows us how to plan your shoots, how to prepare everything, film and also how to get out the final project and it's also filming on a budget and another thing i was get, wanted to get into this summer was video music videos right and he basically teaches music videos as well so it's the perfect class for me now there's tons of different classes that you guys could jump into anything you want to learn more about in detail you could find them on skillshare also i want to thank skillshare because the first 1000 of you my subscribers who click the link down below in the description would get two months free premium membership on Skillshare where you could explore your creativity but yeah thanks to Skillshare let's jump back on to the video I already talked about the camera and the different lenses and when to use the lenses but some other things that I also use are like tripods and different lighting equipment and stuff like that so we're just gonna talk about the tripod I use and vlog style again let's go this is the tripod I use when I'm trying to get smooth b-roll footage and also when I'm going for top-down shots. Now, when I'm talking about A-roll, which is right here, like the talking head, I just basically put my camera on this phone box. I should probably invest in a like small tripod from like Manfruit or something like that. But that box gets it done for now. And thank God this table is also motorized, so I could just move this up and down just like that to get the right framing and yeah I guess I'm just lucky enough to have a sit-stand desk to get the right framing of my shot but yeah that works out perfectly fine for me now in terms of audio setup I'm still learning how to get good audio quality I normally use a lavalier mic but I now upgrade it to a deity mic and the mic that I'm using up here is a deity d3 microphone now it's connected all the way to my camera so I just use this cable I run it all the way around here and then I connect it to my camera over here so as you can see it doesn't use a lot of power it's char I think it's using a double a battery inside and you could also turn it on and off from here so yeah that gets the job done and I'm using this monitor arm from newer as well it was like 20 30 dollars on Amazon it's pretty good because you could move it up and down so and I'm not talking with the mic and I want to get it out of the way, I just angle it out of the way, put it here, you know. So yeah, it's pretty good. And then you can angle it so you get it out of your shot and it's not showing in your video. So yeah, I definitely recommend you guys to try this over the head shotgun mic. It's really worth it. I think it was like $100, but it has good audio quality, very versatile. You could connect it to your camera as well like on top of the camera so yeah that's pretty cool all right now in terms of lighting i'm using two cheap umbrella lights from amazon around 60 dollars and this is what they look like so this is the first umbrella light i have like this beaming in front of my face but it's a soft light because of the umbrella gives off this soft light i also have one around the back without an umbrella and it's aiming on the roof because it's white walls it bounces off the roof then onto me also, I keep my blinds down to control the light, but if I wanted to, I could open the blinds, but it would let light in here that I can't control. So I just normally close it so I could control all the lights. Around back here, I also have this small LED light bouncing off the wall to give it a nice effect. And yeah, this is what the end product looks like. So if I turn off, basically, let's say I turn off I'm gonna show you when I turn off all the lights what it will look like. So yeah, that's with all the lights off. Let me just turn my iPod off. Boom, yep, all the lights off. And yeah, that's the look we get. I guess you could get like a more cinematic look if you just turn on this one umbrella light right here. It's not bad, but then you have this side that needs lighting. I guess I could just use my iPod. <laughs> just use my iPod for the light right here, let's see. Turn on my iPad, and yeah, that kind of gives it a nice look. And then I also have these lights if I'm feeling like to have a different mood. But you always need like something to light up the background to, you know, 
this one light around here the small LED light from newer as well not sponsored but newer just makes good products the small LED light just bouncing on the wall gives it a really nice look but yeah let's go back to original setup so after all of this the planning probably take days filming probably take a day or two now it's time to do my favorite part and it's editing the footage now if you already planned and organized your sequence and everything in your head or you script up everything editing is supposed to be super simple now what I used to edit my main program editing product program of choice is Adobe Premiere Pro and yeah let's see what that looks like alright guys so this is my editing home and also where I do all my top-down shots so this is my PC right here and the program I used to edit Adobe Premiere Pro when I'm editing all of these stuff my camera cables all of that is off the table and if you guys ever seen like my top-down shots I use this tripod right here to get top-down shots because this tripod has a special little trick up its sleeve I get this top-down view then you could extend the legs and that's basically how I get all my top-down shots on the channel there you go and you might be wondering how do I get all the different color backgrounds and if you look over here in my little packaging area I have different cardboards that I got from like the dollar store card I think it's like cartridge paper just backgrounds and I just place them on the table to get like a different view different feel and yeah overall makes the video just look better all right so that's it for today's video I showed you my camera gear my mic setup my lighting my planning process how I film and also what I used to edit now yeah if I missed anything, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And don't forget my first thousand subscribers who click the link down below in the description will get two months free premium membership on Skillshare. So yeah, as usual guys, love, peace and tweaks. Signing out.